Hello everyone, I'm Anna Samoska from the American Council on Science and Health. We're talking about a groundbreaking discovery, a study, if you will. It's all over the news. It's about stem cells, so of course we are reporting on it. And right now I'm sitting here with Dr. Gilbert Ross himself. Um, just all over the news today, stem cells. Let's talk about it. What do you make of this? Let's talk about the study. Well, this is uh, a, certainly a groundbreaking and exciting uh, uh, leap forward in the uh, area of stem cell research. The discovery and breakthrough by the folks at the Oregon uh, Health Center uh, uh, was the ability to transplant a nucleus from a person, in this case an eight-month-old eight infant, into an egg and have the union of that nucleus and the egg develop into an embryonic collection of cells. So what the researchers basically did was they they took the nucleus of a, of a skin cell from the infant with a genetic uh, disease and they took that nucleus and put it into an egg cell that was donated by some anonymous donor. So what you then have is basically the equivalent of a fertilized egg. You have an egg cell with a, a 46 chromosome, but all of those chromosomes are now the chromosomes of the donor, meaning the infant in this case right. with the genetic disease. From that uh, small embryo, the uh, stem cells can be recovered, can be harvested as it were, and those stem cells can then be grown. And stem cells can grow into any tissue and organ in the body, and that's the plan. So uh, let me just jump in here for a second. They're sure. not in the study. They're not completely forthcoming with uh, with information on the child or what the genetic disease was. Perhaps uh, what can we infer? I mean, what sort of genetic diseases uh, would work here, and what what sort of situation would be ideal? Taking a nucleus from a person, uh, from a person's cells, uh, any cell, and implanting it into an egg and having that egg grow becomes a genetic copy, an identical copy, of the donor nucleus. So picture, for instance, a person with uh, diabetes okay. whose insulin-producing cells have been ravaged and disappeared and they require a daily dose of insulin. If you could collect the uh, stem cells that are, are responsible for producing a pancreas and have uh, uh, primordial pancreatic cells grow out of those stem cells, you could then implant those uh, pancreatic cells into the patient with diabetes. You'd be basically making a new pancreas custom design for that individual because you took that person's nucleus from any cell in the body and had the egg grow. And that's the accomplishment. Very well, obviously a very exciting, as we said. We'll be talking about this as everybody else is talking about this on our websites, actually.org and hsdispatch.com, so make sure you follow us there. Dr. Gilbert Ross, thank you again for being thank with you. us. For AXHA, I'm Anna Samofska.